So what I would do is choose, okay, we've got the full size image here. Choose image, resize, slash, resample. You can set the new size by pixels. Well, you can see, actually, excuse me, you can set it by units, as you can see, pixels, centimeters, or inches. Or you can set it as a percentage. Generally, I resize. I click here, set new size as percentage of original. And I may choose 20%, 30%, 40%, whatever. Let's say 40%. An important thing to do here is when you when you set the new size, you want to make sure preserve aspect ratio is on. Let me show you why. If we cancel this, go back to image resize slash resample set new size as percentage, ok, let's turn preserve aspect ratio, let's turn it off, ok, now if I change this to 40%, it doesn't automatically change the height, you see, if I don't change them both, it only resizes the width, so if I ok that, it looks pretty weird, it's, it's basically just squashed in one direction. So let's go back to the original, file, reopen, OK, image, resize, resample, you want to make sure preserve aspect ratio is on, or generally you do, and then I'm, I'm in this instance rather than, rather than setting the size by specifying pixels, centimeters or inches, which is, well this, the easier way is just to, I find is to set it as a percentage. So click here, set new size as percentage. Let's choose 45%. If you want shortcut, sh a shortcut, you can just click on standard dimensions, but I, I ignore this section here generally. And then if we go to the bottom right here, size method, you can choose between the faster or the lower, excuse me, the faster but lower quality one, or the slower one but higher quality, and I choose to resample at better quality, and then it p asks you to choose a resample filter. Again, you can choose between fastest or, l or slowest. Slowest is highest quality, so generally you want highest quality, so choose slowest resample. So again, I generally set the new size as a percentage. Make sure preserve aspect ratio is on, or I would I would suggest you have it set on, so then when you change the width it automatically changes the height as well, so it keeps the, the graphic, the resized graphic even, and then here in the bottom right size method, resample, better resample because that's better quality, and I choose the slowest which is, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, Lankzos filter or something. Okay, so let's OK that, and it's done. That's how the graphic looks at 45% in both direction, width and height. So let's go back to the original, file, reopen. As another example, if we choose image, resize, again, let's go by percentage, let's choose 15%. Make sure preserve aspect ratio is on. Resample at the slowest speed, which is highest quality. OK. And that's how it looks at 15%. And as a further experiment, with this graphic we've now resized at 15%. And if you're interested here, in the bottom left in this bar, let's um, let's make this full size. This, the status bar here, the bar at the bottom of the screen, the, well, the, the bar at the bottom of Earth in view, has some information about the graphic. And here in the bottom left, it's 96 by 75, and that's the width and the height in pixels. So 96 pixels by 75 pixels. You may find that useful information. 
So now if we resize this small image, let's go image resize slash resample. Let's make it bigger. Let's go back to percentage and let's say 500 percent. Preserve aspect ratio, yes, and highest quality resampling. So let's OK that. And it's made it bigger, but of course, every time you make a graphic smaller, you lose information because obviously it's a smaller graphic with less detail. So if you take a small graphic and try to make it larger, it ends up like this because you didn't have that. You, you ha because you have less detail in a smaller graphic. When you try to make the graphic larger, it won't become more detailed. It just it just becomes, as you can see, larger but blurred. So you may find a use for this, but it's um, I'm not sure I would want to display this on my website because it's not particularly useful. But you may find a use for this for making smaller graphics larger and make you know in effect making them blurry. So let's go to edit menu. Let's undo. Oops. Let's undo that. So let's undo that last change and let's again click here and to take up the whole screen. I find it easy to work with the whole screen. Earth and view tends to shrink to the size of the graphic I find. And one other thing, if you go to the image menu and choose canvas size well often that's the exact the graphic is that exact size, but if you want to add a blank space around the graphic, you can go image canvas size, and you can add a blank border if you wish. So let's say on the left size, left side, 50 pixels, on the right, 50 pixels, at the top, 20 pixels, at the bottom, 20 pixels, and the border color, let's choose white so if we OK that again it's earth and views become smaller to, ac to accommod accommodate the size of the graphic let's make it full screen again I'll find that clearer so as you can see we've added a white border around the graphic 20 pixels at the top and the bottom 50 pixels at the left and right so you may want to do that that's image canvas size. It's not in fact it's not effectively resizing the graphic, it's adding blank space of a colour of your choosing around the existing graphic.